Mattis to America, Obama lied to you, but now I'm going to tell you the truth Obama may no longer be in the White House, but his policies are still hurting America. It seems we can't go a week without some new revelation about the hidden policies and agendas he put in place before prancing out the front door. One of the many things the president unrightfully did while in office was take credit for things he had little or nothing to do with. The most egregious of these is probably the troop drawdown from Iraq and Afghanistan, which was already planned under Bush but taken advantage of by Obama. While he received plaudits for bringing the troops home, the failure-in-chief also sent an awful lot of those boys back into the Middle Eastern sandbox a few years later. But since he isn't the type to invite scrutiny, he did so quietly and with some simple number fudging, a main feature of his presidency. Now, ahead of Trump's decision to escalate the U.S. war in Afghanistan, it has been revealed just how much the president underreported troop levels in the region. As reported at the Daily Caller, the Pentagon revealed Wednesday, at the direction of Secretary of Defense James Mattis, there are approximately 11,000 U.S. service members in Afghanistan. Prior to this announcement, the Pentagon would only ever admit to there being 8,400 troops there under force management based on orders from the Obama administration. Pentagon Chief Spokesperson Dana W. White and Joint Staff Director Lt. Gen. Kenneth F. McKenzie Jr. emphasized the Obama-era policy affected combat readiness in Afghanistan and did not tell the whole truth as to the number of U.S. forces in Afghanistan to the American people. I'm sure you'll see CNN and their ill criticizing the former president for lying about the numbers. Oh wait, no you won't. This way of doing business is over, White flatly declared, adding, we owe the American people as much transparency as possible. The simple trick that allowed the Obama administration to arrive at the magic 8,400 number was to not disclose troops deployed on temporary status, despite them being there to support both U.S. and NATO missions. Thanks to Obama's pathetic face-saving cover-up, incomplete units were often deployed to keep numbers under 8,400, but that will no longer be the case since honest accounting will now be done. Mattis's decision is a major repudiation of the dishonest Obama-era policy, which did nothing but diminish our military's combat readiness. Complete units will now be on alert and prepared for deployment should their numbers be called, without fear of being split apart for political purposes. This is yet another example of President Zero's indifference to our military's needs and the fact that not everything he did, and continues to do, is all about making himself look good. The man's truly a disgrace.